Hello and welcome, I'm your Code Monkey. The Asset Store is full of awesome tools and assets to help you make your own games. There's more and more awesome stuff coming out every single month, so in this video let's check out some of the highlights that were released in May 2021. Now I was actually planning on making just one video, but it turns out there's tons of awesome stuff released in just one month. This is the first time that I'm doing this, so I don't know if May was an unusual month full of assets or if this is normal amount. So in this first video I will be covering a list of free assets and in the next one I will be covering paid assets and tools. I will be putting all of these videos into one playlist so if you're watching this in the future check the link in the description for all the videos. And by the way check out my own assets on the store. So far I've made the free key door system which is a super simple way to add keys and doors to your game. And the mouse cursor system pro which is a very easy to use tool to help you create custom animated cursors to really make your game stand out. I'm currently working on converting some more videos into pro systems, so stay tuned for that. Alright, so let's go, starting off with the Cinematic Studio sample. This one is officially made by Unity. It's related to all of the cinematic tools that Unity has in order to help you make film, TV or animation. This is an official sample meant to demonstrate all of those tools in action. So it's using timeline to manage all the timing, sequences, which appears to be a tool for organizing video content, I'm not familiar with this one. It also uses the recorder, which is how you record video files directly inside Unity, and of course it's all using Cinemachine. So if you're interested in movie making, then this official sample is a great starting point to see all of these awesome movie related things that you can build with Unity. Next up, UPython 2. This is an interesting one. It's a tool for connecting Unity with Python. So for example, if you have some Python program that you made, like maybe something related to machine learning or some data analysis or something like that. You can then run that program from Unity and get the results. It certainly is a niche tool, but based on the positive reviews, it does exactly what it's meant to do. Then if you're looking for some assets, here is Cube People, certainly an interesting visual. Sometimes it seems that all of the low poly assets look exactly the same, they all seem to be made by Synthi Studios, but this one still looks low poly while looking quite different. Features a demo with a bunch of characters just roaming around and some speech bubbles. The characters are set up to work with Mechanim, so all of the standard animations from Mixamo should work. This is a free demo, and if you like this style, you can grab the full package. Or maybe you're looking for some pixel art, so here is a pixelated free warrior. It's got a total of 14 unique animations. You've got running, jumping, attacking, sliding. All of them look quite great with quite a bit of polish. This is perfect if you're trying to build a quick side-scrolling prototype. Then for another interesting system, Gen Events. This is a simple observer pattern made to work with scriptable objects. So you have a simple script to trigger an event on a scriptable object, and then any number of other scripts listening to that same event on that same object reference. It's a very interesting pattern, and making it work with scriptable objects is a great way to do it. This is also the same thing that the Unity team is using in their official Unity Open project scene. So if you're interested in this pattern, maybe get this asset and inspect the code to see how it all works. Then for some UI, here is a simple progress bar. It's exactly what you expect. It's got quite a lot of variations, from some very simple square bars to some with some rounded edges, some with gradients and some with dashes. Very simple and another tiny thing that would add quite a bit of polish to any small project. Next up, here is a nice aircraft. It's an interesting design, very cartoony. Also includes these low poly clouds. This one is also a free sample, so if you like this design, you can get the complete pack. If you need some sounds for your car game, here is the Vehicle Essentials. Features over 100 high quality individual sounds for cars and trucks. Naturally, you have some looping engine sounds, then you've got some doors open and closing, some horns, keys and so on. This is great for a quick racing prototype or maybe making a GTA clone. And if your game is heavily based on physics, maybe look into this one, the Fitbox Collider. It makes the box collider you have in your object fit with the animation of that object. So this can be useful to prevent clipping when you have some wide animations. Or maybe use it for a fighting game to ensure you have some accurate animated hitboxes. And lastly, a simple but possibly very useful system, the time recorder. It keeps track of how long you have the Unity editor open on a per project basis. Now there was a time, quite a while ago, when I used a bunch of third party programs to keep track of every minute of every day. I did that to see exactly how much time I was working and how much time each game took to make. Nowadays I mainly just keep track of time in terms of days and months instead of minutes, so I no longer use these kinds of programs. 
But especially if you're a hobbyist working on games after your full-time job, then this can be quite useful to see the total time it takes you to make a game. And if your goal is to eventually make games full-time, then knowing how fast or slow you work can be a very useful data point. Alright, so those are my top 10 free new assets on the Unity Asset Store that were released in May 2021. There's links to all of them in the description. Stay tuned for the next video, that one will be covering some paid assets, there's tons of awesome stuff there. I hope you found this list useful. Check the full playlist to see some more lists with free and paid assets, and let me know if you pick up any and what you intend to do with them. Also check out my own free and paid assets on the store. Alright, hope that's useful, check out these videos to learn some more. Thanks to these awesome Patreon supporters for making these videos possible. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.